I stopped using the Samsung internet app. No joke. It was probably with the Galaxy S7. I absolutely hated it. It was bulky. It was awkward. And as soon as Chrome became a viable alternative on smartphones, I switched over. But recently on Twitter, I've been seeing a lot of noise about Samsung internet again. People using it and loving it. I said, well, hold on. Is Samsung up the uh, advertising budget or something? What's going on here? They handing out free phones or something? But then I started using it, and I see what all the noise is about. I really like it. Not only do I like it, I prefer it to Chrome. So you can see, you know, I, I use the same backgrounds and app setups here on my phones. If you're at all accustomed to my desktop or homepage setup here, and down there at the bottom, there's no Chrome. There's Samsung Internet. So let's talk about a few things that it does. Number one, a bunch of people over the years have complained that Chrome could be a, a resource hog, it can slow down on occasion, but to me, the biggest problem with Chrome is the design of it. It just seems counterintuitive a lot of the times, and just doing basic functions can be clunkier, a lot clunkier than it needs to be. But that's where Samsung Internet has really stepped up their game in terms of their design. So let's just go to a, a page. Let's go back to the home page, which is Google. And let's say I want to search something. So I go to the top here. And right away, you could see in the top left, I can pick which search engine I want to use. Now, obviously, there are reasons why Google Chrome wouldn't allow this right off the bat. But I could go ahead, click in here, and choose between Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo, which a lot of people prefer, or YouTube. Because a lot of times, you just want a how-to video. You want to see something. You're a visual learner. So you could go ahead and skip all the images, skip all the nonsense returns or results that Google will give you in their search sometime and get the video that you're looking for, which is really, really good. And a lot, I mean, it's not as much of an issue anymore, but early on with the search engines, there were things that Yahoo did better than Google. So to switch between them would have been useful, but now it's not really that big of an issue. But a lot of people prefer Bing. That's something that you could do. And while Google here is listed as a default, it's literally a couple of clicks. Go down to the bottom, hit settings, and then address bar, and you can see what your default would be. A lot. Uh, some of the other things I like are the tabs, how they handle tabs. So I've got this open here. Let's say I want to go to my tabs. This appeals to me. Just this nice little list where it's condensed, but it's nice. But if that's something that you don't like, a couple of clicks, and you got something else. You go into the, the three dots in the corner, view as, and you could do stack or grid and those are things that if that appeals to you you could do that but what i like is it's intuitive to change it it's a couple clicks and you could customize it the way you want i personally happen to like these so that's really good let's go back to a page again i just love the overall design of it as well bookmarks are one touch you want to add a new bookmark right up in the top you hit the star boom a bookmark has been added then you go right down here at the bottom, you click the other star, you got your list of your bookmarks. Right there. Two clicks. I've added a bookmark and I have access to my bookmarks. Really, really love how clean and smooth that is. Search suggestions. So let's say I start typing something in. Okay. Let's type in, oh, misspelled. But we'll just go ahead and type in ESPN. It'll go ahead and give me the search suggestions. Now, Google does that as well, or Chrome does that as well, but it's usually just a big, long mess of suggestions. I like how it's nice and condensed here with Samsung Internet. No issues with that whatsoever. Performance is another thing. You're not going to notice a, a, a dip in performance between Chrome and Samsung Internet. Nice and snappy, pulls up. It's going to be just as fast as your Internet connection will allow, and performance is great. Super smooth. It's integrated nicely with One UI 5.1, and it's going to run great, especially on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, especially with the extra power that it has. So let's talk about other settings that you may want to change. I'd say you, you got some other things that you want going on there. Look at how clean and nicely laid out the settings are. Again, literally one click from the bottom display. Boom, and I've got everything that I could possibly need. Download, history, save pages. I want to add page to something I want to share. Light theme back and forth. I love that it defaults to the dark theme because it picks up that that's my system default as well. Find on page. If I want the desktop site, I don't have to scroll the bottom of the page and look for the option for the desktop site. I could just get it right here. Text, zoom, stuff like that. We're going to go over add-ons in a moment. I could print it. 
if privacy if I want a private page there's that settings that we just used earlier and then translator if it's a foreign page you could go ahead and translate that into your home language but I just love love the design and layout of that I could go right home one click go back to my my Google home here if I want to search something go right back into tabs nice cleanly laid out several clicks that are intuitive get me around the entire system and you add that to the performance that it has and that's a winning combination chrome is oh, i don't know if it's overly engineered at this point but it's just a mess it's several clicks just to get to the menu that you then you have to search through to get something that you want to change and that you want to customize right here it's all laid out on the home page for me right at the bottom i got bookmarks up at the top i got my stuff down at the bottom i got home if i want to look up a bookmark on my list or if I want to go back to my tabs, it's all one click and it all works really well. Now, there are some downsides. Everybody, and I'm included in this, is guilty of this as well. We've become very reliant, and because they're really good, on Chrome extensions. Do you have extensions here? Yes, but it's not going to be anywhere near as uh, comprehensive as the Google Chrome add-ons. So you see the add-ons here. you got ad blocker, subtitles translator stuff like that you could go get more add-ons from the samsung extensions and you could add them and listen there's some here they're growing it's not it's not anywhere near as complete as the selection on the google chrome app with your extensions so that's something that you're going to have to deal with there is a sync for your bookmarks so you are able to sync now between your google chrome on your desktop and your samsung internet on your phone that's pretty nice you can add the Samsung Internet. It's kind of ironic. You can add the Samsung Internet Chrome extension on your desktop and be able to get all your bookmarks and stuff that you do on your mobile phone. So that way, that's a nice, clean transition there. But if you're willing to not fully divorce yourself from Google, you're going to have to give up being signed in all the time. There is that sync. But again, you can have the sync through the Samsung Internet extension on your Chrome tab instead of just having it by default be, by being logged in to your Google account. So there are some sacrifices to be made there. But if you're willing to do that and separate yourself just a little bit from the Google ecosystem, Samsung Internet has finally given us a worthy competitor, something to actually think about, some competition. I love it. I'm going to stick with it. I, I would The first thing for years that I would do would be to remove that icon from that dock and put in Chrome, but not anymore. I really love how nice, intuitive, and clean the design is now on Samsung Internet. So if you were like me, and rightfully so, you gave up on Samsung Internet years ago because it was garbage, maybe, 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 maybe you should be giving it another look because I do believe I, it, it, served its, it served its debt to society. It's been in jail long enough. Perhaps it's time to let it out and see if it'll work for your needs. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Lish's day.